Wind into the bathroom and see where we're at. All right, 240.7. That means I've lost a little under three pounds. Whew. All right, that makes you feel good. All right, so got my first official like weigh-in check of the uh, Austin Weight Loss Challenge 2020 this morning and lost three pounds over the last week, um, which is uh, obviously encouraging to see some results uh, to make it happen. I guess when you have to lose 80 pounds over the course of what your total goal is, three pounds might not seem like a lot, but... I put it in calories and that's uh, 12,500 calories that uh, I was able to um, make up over this last week, you know, as far as burning 12,500 more than what I consumed. Uh, and a lot of that uh, has to do with the amount of physical activity I've been getting. Um, and obviously during the week, like I said, I'm watching my intake, trying to keep it uh, around 1,500 calories a day of intake. So. Uh, gotta keep, gotta keep working though. So I'm out here, uh, Ionia State Recreation Area and I'm getting ready to take a hike. Uh, hiking is uh, probably one of my favorite forms of exercise because you're out in the woods most of the time. You're going up hills, uh, which is a little bit more strenuous than if you're just walking on a flat terrain and you get to see the uh, beautiful sights and sounds of the forest. And, uh, you know, it's just good physical activity. So probably be out hiking for about an hour and burn some calories so that, uh, I can do it again tonight, get a two a day in, so I can do a little bit of cheating this weekend. <laughs> You do get several creek crossings on this hike, which is really nice, very serene. Reached the teepee. <laughs> And uh, that's my sign to turn around. Uh, checking my watch, I'm a mile and a half in and I still have to turn around and get all the way back to the car. So I'm looking at about three miles total. And that's kind of what I'm looking at for uh, this segment. This issue with my yak track and it's pissing me off. I have no idea. I've adjusted it like 10 different times already. I got it on the right way. The back part says heel and this is the toe. And this one on the left foot is doing just great. I have no idea what's going on. The trail basically wraps around Session Lake. And really, it's only about half the trail that's any good. Uh, parking at the disc golf course lot. You can start there by the by the Porta Shitters and hike to the right from the parking lot, uh, which is south and east. And that'll take you about 1.75 to 1.9 miles around the southeastern portion of Session Lake. And then from there, you're kind of at a fishing dock and the rest of the trail that goes around the lake is all just basically like mowed grass. I've reached a point of the trail that I like to call Rock Cairn Ridge. <laughs> kind of neat. People have uh, taken a bunch of rocks and made rock cairns out of them. And for people that aren't familiar, uh, rock cairns, common in the southwestern United States or out in the Rocky Mountains, uh, stones that people stack up to kind of lead people on the right path of the trail so that you don't get lost. Oh man, that was tough. Just getting back to the car. It was uh, an hour and 10 minutes worth of, worth of hiking on this uh, warm snow. Rain's coming down, snow's really soft. I had to use a lot more uh, 
stabilizer muscles moving through the woods today than usual just feet kept slipping around you know even though i've got these yak tracks on the right one couldn't keep it to stay on the whole time so i don't know the plan right now is to do another workout later this evening but man we'll see how i feel because uh that was pretty tough just having some apples with some peanut butter for a snack fruit and protein well, I'm not really happy about this, but I'm on the treadmill anyway after my three mile hike and putting in some more work. Uh, lately I've been doing the treadmill for an hour, but I'm kind of uh, tired. That hike really wore me out, so I might just do 30, maybe 40 minutes tonight. <laughs> Friday night relaxing, enjoying a little bit of extra indulgence for the weekend. Sitting on the couch watching Bad Boys 2, and uh, it's on Netflix or whatever, so yeah, probably uh, make a burger in a little bit. Made Just made the kids uh, some pizza, homemade pizza, and uh, just enjoying my evening, relaxing a little bit, taking my feet off the floor. Man, they're sore from uh, all the hiking and walking today, but uh, be back at it tomorrow, you know, as far as the working out goes. Be Saturday. Heading to Fort Wayne for my son's uh, wheelchair basketball tournament at uh, the Turnstone Center. So I'll be taking an overnight trip down to Fort Wayne uh, for that. And we'll make sure I bring my workout clothes so I can hit that stationary bike in the fitness room at the hotel. All right. So I got an Apple Watch back in September and uh, never have had a fitness tracker before, and obviously it can do other things. I never really wanted one, but we were looking into getting one for our son, Graydon, and uh, I didn't really realize that some of the phone companies would lease those things to you. So the Apple Watch 5 had just come out, and Sprint had a, an offer where if you bought one and signed up for one of their plans, you know, the cellular plan with the watch, that uh, you'd get 50% off the total price. So, And then it's, you know, flex lease to own sort of a deal, so it ends up being... 250 bucks after the 50% off and like 10 bucks a month plus the five bucks for the cellular with the discount. So, uh, ended up talking my wife into letting me get one of those and it's been pretty sweet. You know, I've never really known or had much of an idea of how many calories I was burning each day. And this thing will basically tell you right out, you know, based on the, uh, estimates and whatnot. But for my height, my weight, my gender, um, burning, resting, burn rate, you know, it shows me basically that my average resting calorie burn, which is basically just what you need to stay alive. Over the last month here, I'm averaging 2,558 calories per day, just staying alive for my height, weight, and, and gender. And then it tells me my active energy, which, you know, the sensors on the watch will tell you, it detects when your heart rate goes up, when you're moving, and that also is in addition to the resting calories. So right now, over the last month, my average active calories is 1,350. And since, you know, we're talking a month ago, and it hasn't been quite a month since I started uh, my workout and heavy dieting routine, but since I've kind of cranked up and amped up the workouts even more in the last week, I'm averaging 1,509 calories active burn uh, per day. So um, I'm, I'm up weekly over my month average and hopefully, uh, that month average will continue to, uh, stay in that 1500 calorie per day. So when you combine that with the resting, you know, most days I am burning, let me look at yesterday. It gives me the total with resting plus active. So yesterday, for example, my estimated calorie burn total was 4,267 calories. So I kind of worked it out and was talking with my son about it. Kind of interesting when you do some of these calculations. If, if a, a pound of fat has 3,500 calories and my goal is to get back down to that 160, 165 range, that means I've got to lose 80 pounds, man. 80 flipping pounds, which represents at 3,500 calories per pound, that uh, represents 280,000 calories 
burn, like difference. So that's the difference in what I'm burning per day and what I'm eating every day. So I have to make up like 280,000 more calories burned than calories brought in until I reach that goal. So figuring that I am cheating a little bit on the weekends and I'm going really hard for five days during the week. I'm hoping that on my active days, or not necessarily, I'm active every day, but on my workout days, my diet days, if you will, that uh, if I'm burning that 4,300 range every day and I try to limit my calorie intake to 1,500 calories each day, which is about 1,000 less than what I would need just to stay alive, then I've got a 2,800 difference. So I'm burning 2,800 more than what I'm eating on any given day during the week. On the weekends, the goal is stay active, still burn those 4,200 calories, but obviously I'm cheating a little bit. I'm having a couple of beers, I'm having some wings, pizza, burgers, whatever. Uh, not a ton, but you know, Saturday night, whatever, maybe a lunch or something. So try to keep that even where I'm burning the 4,300, but I'm not eating or drinking any more than 4,300, so I'm even keel. So that, obviously, with a 2,800 difference and 280,000 total, that represents 100 days. Hotel, man, gotta keep that workout thing going, so I did find me a stationary bike, but it's one of those recumbent ones, which I would prefer the other kind, but no big deal. I get my workout, kids and the wife swim, hang out in the hot tub, so it all works out. Just getting off the treadmill Monday after a weekend of some overindulgence, if you will. <laughs> Definitely uh, ate a little bit more than what I probably should have, so I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. And uh, <laughs> even still, I decided I better get on that treadmill and burn some calories. Now I'm just trying to think of what I should have for dinner. I'm thinking, uh, I kind of feel like some kind of soup, but I was planning on making a, what I call like a veggie pasta bowl with no pasta. You just use vegetables instead and top it with a little bit of pre-made spaghetti type sauce and uh, a little fresh uh, Parmigiano Reggiano or something. So I'm not sure. I should ask my wife what she feels like. So I decided on the organic uh, veggie pasta type bowl. So I take all these veggies and uh, saute them in the pan until they're nice. And then uh, in my bowl, I do riced cauliflower and then uh, the veggies and then some sauce, a little bit of uh, cheese, just a little bit. Salt and pepper, you know, pretty good, pretty healthy. Final product here, uh, we got the riced cauliflower, and then sauteed broccoli, carrots, kale, mushrooms, onions, peppers, little tomato sauce, some uh, quartered green Spanish olives, and then garnished with a little Parmigiano Reggiano and some feta cheese. Uh, Thursday, January 30th. Uh, it's the night before my weekly weigh-in and I'm uh, on the treadmill again doing another hour of walking on maximum incline for my treadmill, which is incline 10 or whatever. <sighs> Keep the speed at three. It's good enough to get my heart rate into the aerobic zone, you know, which I guess is the best, you know, for fat burning. And uh, last night we did get out, my wife and I, for a run. It's kind of been low 30s for temps here. Uh, the last couple of weeks, we really haven't had much of a winter. So we'll, not much ice on the road or anything. We're able to get out and run together. She's doing a one of those couch to 10K app deals or whatever. So last night's regiment was a five minute warm up and then a three minute run followed by a three minute walk and a five minute run, I think, three minute walk and then eight minute run three minute walk and then another five minute run with a three minute walk. So it kind of builds you up to uh, getting that stamina that you would need to do an entire 10K. So gradually over time just kind of increases the 
amount of time that you're running and fewer rest breaks of the walk. Uh, so and we got done with that and uh, my Apple Watch only had shown that I had burned around 400 calories, which is a little bit lower than my walks on the treadmill. I'm usually hitting 600 plus when I walk on this thing for an hour. So I wanted to run a little bit more, ended up doing a little over a 5K and then walked another quarter to a third of a mile after that. So I'll be uh, hitting the scale tomorrow to see if uh, what I'm doing is working. Yeah, man, tonight cooking some vegetarian hash. Mixed potatoes with some mushrooms, onions, garlic, and kale, and a fried egg over top, baby. Mm -hmm. It's the morning of weigh-in. Uh, feeling a little bit nervous about what the scale's gonna say. Um, had a pretty uh, indulgent weekend this last week. Followed up by Tuesday night bowling. Uh, a few liberties on that night also. And uh, I just don't feel like I've had quite the same amount of time to get out and get some uh, two-a-day exercising in. Um, so uh, I guess we'll have to see what the scale says. I'm sitting here after the weigh-in this morning, uh, checking my previous data. My last weight was 240.7. This morning I'm 238.8, so I guess I'm actually a little bit closer to two pounds than one and a half. Um, it feels a little disappointing. It's only two pounds, but as I'm sitting here thinking about it, it's still two pounds, man. It's 7,000 calories. Uh, that I made up this last week and uh, you know that's pretty much a safe you know an effective way of losing weight a little bit here a little bit there right you know it does get discouraging at times uh, thinking about how long it's going to take to reach my goal weight but um, you know I guess this is a kind of a comfortable place for me right now because I'm still getting to take some of those liberties and freedoms uh, on the weekend and it's not like a killer sort of diet where you feel like there's no hope and it's never going to end you know you get those little bit of breaks here and there and it probably teaches a little bit more too about a healthy lifestyle um, you know where you uh, you know just it's like going forward you know like this is the way it should be you know eating healthier making healthier choices uh, not binging every day all week long you know doing a good job so um, just keep moving forward just did a uh, quick hike here around lunchtime uh, Cooper Creek Park part of the Kent County Park System uh, kind of like horseback and hiking trails, but um, yeah, the conditions just terrible right now with the snow Not having really any fresh snow and uh, lots of ice so just bad footing, but uh, Got a couple of miles in uh, 370 calories or so All right, Saturday man, and uh, today I'm gonna head over towards Spring Lake and I uh, get together with my buddy backcountry Brian uh, he's gonna show me around some hiking trails in his area. I don't know if we're gonna do that Dewey Hill that you saw in his first YouTube video, or maybe we'll head up north a little bit to PJ Hoffmaster State Park near Muskegon. So, heading out, man, doing some hiking. <laughs> Five minutes ago we had snow now it seems like it's mostly rain as we've gotten closer to the Lake Michigan shoreline so here I was thinking that I was gonna get to take a nice pretty hike in the snow and uh, 
Now, I just get to be wet hiking in the rain. Arriving here, Ottawa Sands area, north of Grand Haven. Getting ready to head out for a hike in the rain bullshit. And out today hiking with Backcountry Brian. He's the uh, guy who got me really into this whole backpacking thing. We're doing a little bit of off-trail hiking today. The snow's a little bit softer because it hasn't been traveled by multiple people, so it's not packed down and glazed over and iced up as much. Climbing up the dunes, man. All right, we're gonna head down around here. And over there is a big dune. We're gonna cut right up the middle, have an angled trail up to the top over there, and then hike up the ridge, the spine, all the way to the top, and then we'll drop down and eventually go to a clearing on the back side. It's pretty back there, so it's worth the hike. All right, man, sounds good. actual trail system through the park I'll give you an idea of where we're at you are here <laughs> right along the lake nice property started, all the way up to Hoffmaster started down here kind of went off trail through this area and came across here and we're gonna head up along the trail we can head over to the lake if you want to see the lake. Cool. Need a 3D camera, iPhone, 3D. <laughs> Give you some perspective as these, uh, the height of these dunes. Have an auto ignite. Yeah, and my spark thing on this doesn't work. So yeah, just getting back in the van, heading back to Backcountry Brian's pad. Uh, we did a little over four miles in the woods, a couple hours worth. Um, yeah, not the greatest conditions, but it was pretty uh, nice back there, pretty uh, beautiful. Quite a few people actually out on this miserable uh, rain, cloud, overcast Michigan February day. February 2nd today, Super Bowl Sunday and also Groundhog's Day. 
and I believe that the uh, groundhog, uh, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, I can't remember uh, whether he saw a shadow or not, but I think what he said was that uh, there would not be six more weeks of winter. <laughs> and uh, coincidentally enough, here on February 2nd, we've got a 50 degree day near the 45th parallel for crying out loud. So, um, anyway, uh, having a little fire out here on a Sunday afternoon, a little winter fest fire, and uh, getting ready to have uh, my cousin and his wife and his son over for Super Bowl festivities. But in the meantime, you know, it's one of those days where uh, I got my run in this morning, three and a half miles, and uh, now I can enjoy a little liberty here by the fire. Enjoying the heat, enjoying the smell of the fresh burning wood. So tonight, uh, dinner-wise, uh, doing like a Chipotle-style um, bowl, you know, uh, with some black beans and peppers and onions, and uh, we'll serve that up with like some whole grain corn chips or something, uh, or don't even have to have the corn chips, just eat the veggie bowl with a fresh guac and pico de gallo on top. And then I've also got um, a potato and kale and broccoli soup that I'm getting ready. Uh, I have these leftover um, guts from potato skins that I made for the Super Bowl yesterday. So I'm gonna put those to some good use and have a, uh, a little potato, broccoli, and kale soup. Oh, it's Tuesday night, it's a bowling night, and uh, I really have a hard time on bowling nights because it's just so exciting, you know, to uh, lay off on having a couple of brewskis. And then uh, to make matters worse, it's a Michigan State basketball game night tonight, so come home from bowling and want to watch the game, have another couple of beers, you know, and I'm going to get hungry <laughs> and want to eat. Uh, so right now, you know, it's like, it just seems like there's more nights of me cheating than there are actually of me working out. And that kind of leads to uh, a little bit of a lack of, um, hitting them calories. You know, my goal is the way I want to hit them, but Wednesday night after bowling day, and I'm not really making a, a very elaborate dinner tonight. Um, just a little something simple. I'm going to have a little bit of this um, sprouted grain bread, Ezekiel. If you've never had it, it's really good. Organic sprouted grains that are um, allowed to sprout first. And then there's absolutely no preservatives at all in this. I'm going to top that with a little bit of my uh, homemade guacamole. And probably put a poached egg on top. A little bit of everything bagel seasoning up on there. Oh yeah. Tonight for dinner, some Mediterranean action. We got some lean chicken we're gonna make with some tabbouleh, little hummus and some tzatziki sauce and brown rice with some sliced almonds, slivered almonds, yeah, slivered almonds. Hey Aaron, here we go. Thursday afternoon and tomorrow is weigh-in day. So I'm doing what I do every day, going into the room here for another hour on the treadmill. <laughs> hey, here we go. Ah. Starting out on the five for the warm up. We'll work that up to the 10 after a couple, three minutes. I'm about 30 minutes into this walk, man, and uh, just feeling it today. It's uh, feeling kind of tired. Uh, my back hurting a little bit. My legs feeling a little sore. And uh, so every time I walk on this thing with the incline set to max, I'm kind of keeping my head up looking at the TV over there. And uh, lately my neck back here has just been getting a little sore too. So. That's probably, I don't know, maybe a sign of getting older, not 20 years old anymore, but uh, and I want to quit, you know, but uh, I know that's not an option. Just got to power through watching my uh, 
favorite show to watch when I'm doing this. It's uh, Life Below Zero, National Geographic. Kind of focuses a lot on subsistence living where you don't have stores down the street. You got to go out and cut your own firewood for heat and to cook on. You got to go harvest your own animals to eat, make hides and stuff, make gloves, hats, whatever. So kind of a, a little bit of a motivational tool, I guess, you know, if they can do all that, then I sh surely can put an hour in on the damn treadmill in my climate controlled home. <laughs> Friday morning, so time for the weekly weigh-in. I'm, uh, I feel a little bit more optimistic about today, but we'll see if it's disappointing. I'm gonna be crushed. All right, couple more pounds, two and a half. Let's go.